London town. A modern metropolis. Built on history and prosperity. Only took 12,000 years to build it up. And one night to tear it all down. Oh my god. Listen up. Get all your units to move in and lock down the city. With London under attack by a mysterious terrorist, the government turns to a private military company called Albion to keep everyone safe. What could possibly go wrong? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nigel Katz, CEO of Albion. He's kindly stepped up to establish order. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize this. He will stop at nothing to permanently control the city. London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Nigel's not the only opportunist who's taken a liking to this fair city. Meet Mary Kelly. Head of the most powerful crime syndicate in London. Be sure and spread the word. She and her goons are using the dark web to sell everything from party pills to people. This microchip is scary, I know, but I got to keep tracks on my merchandise, don't I? You made me a slave. You do not want to ruffle her feathers. With the city out on its ass, it now falls on you to build a resistance and take back London. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. Any of the brave Londoners you see walking the streets can be recruited into your team. Like him. Her. Or even her. Everyone can become your next secret weapon. In our first mission, we need to get some dirt on Nigel Cass, and that means breaking into Albion headquarters inside the Tower of London. All the hardy souls you see here are people we have recruited from the streets of London. They all have unique abilities, and you're free to tackle this mission with whoever you like. Dear God, my eyes. Mikey! Zip up, get to work, and let's never talk about this again. Like everyone in DedSec, Arthur can hack pretty much whatever. But as a construction worker, he has a particular set of tools that make him handy. He can even call his own cargo drone. Perfect for gate crashing when you're not invited. And who needs a regular old gun when you have a bloody nail gun? Call me a soydoid shit boy. approach this mission differently. If you'd rather keep your distance, we've got you covered. Amy is a drone expert. What have we here? A real tech connoisseur. Hate spiders, but love this one. What an adorable creepy crawler. Here we are. A drone expert does have the unique ability to summon their own drone. This little darling is fast and stealthy. She aims, she fires, she hits. I'm reading incoming drones. She can 
can also hack enemy drones, turning the tide in her favor. And if you are not into direct confrontation, there are more ways than one to get the job done. Recruiting an Albion officer like Brielle here might be challenging. But it'll get you inside restricted Albion areas. Don't mind me. Just doing recon for a bunch of insurgents. However, do anything suspicious and she'll probably wind up with a bullet in the back of her head. You've been approved for entry. We're missing the human element here. I can get the defense minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. Criminals running our streets, illegals threatening our families, the police commissioner himself, assassinated by terrorists. Well, that seems to be enough evidence. Next up, we're crashing Mary Kelly's organ farming operation and putting a stop to it. That's good. The fires expect high quality stuff. And we need a hard nut for this. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? Bugs, don't disturb me in my natural habitat. Say hello to Mickey. The man lives for his team. I put another air on my chest. And doesn't mind getting his hands dirty. <laughs> A slight drinking problem, though. And he's passed out. Ah, oh, well, we'll come back to him. You know what? Let's go with someone a bit more professional.